How to configure wireless client block lists and allow lists on Wagia Cloud. The client block list and allow list feature enables you to control client access to a Wi-Fi network. In the block list mode, clients on the block list will be denied access to the Wi-Fi network. There are two cases in the allow list mode. When the allow list is not empty, only clients added to the allow list are allowed access, while those not on the allow list cannot connect to the Wi-Fi network. When the allow list is empty, the allow list does not take effect, and all clients are allowed to access the Wi-Fi network. Visit the official website of Uwegia Cloud. On the displayed web page, enter your username and password, and click Login. On the home page, click on the project name, then, choose configuration device config wireless, wireless block list or allow list. You can add up to 512 MAC addresses to a block list or allow list. To configure a client block list or allow list, first select the application scope of the block list or allow list on the left. You can choose SSID based or global based for the block list or allow list. Please note that a global-based block list or allow list will apply globally across all Wi-Fi networks. You can configure either a block list or an allow list, with the block list being the default option. To switch to an allow list, click allow list and then click OK in the dialog box that appears. Please note that before switching to the block list or allow list mode, you must first delete all data in the current mode. The process for configuring a block list or allow list is the same. This video demonstrates the process of configuring a block list. First, click Add MAC. On the page that is displayed, you can add MAC addresses by clicking Online Client, OUI MAC, or Complete MAC. Once you have finished adding the MAC addresses, click OK to save and exit. Please note the following two points. One, for an OUI MAC, you only need to enter the first six digits of the MAC address, and all MAC addresses matching the first six digits will take effect, applicable to the case where the first six digits of the device MAC is the same. 2. For a complete MAC, you must enter the complete MAC address and only the device which matched the complete MAC will take effect, applicable to the case where the first six digits of the device MAC are different. You can view the configured block list or allow list on the client block list and allow list page. You can click delete in the action column to delete an entry in the MAC address list. To delete multiple entries, first select the target entries, and then click delete MAC to delete the selected items. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.